The Swiss call this cheese fromage d'alpage, which means cheese from the high mountain pastures. Master cheesemakers retreat to their chalets high in the Swiss Alps to make this special cheese. These individuals follow a tradition of cheesemaking that goes back to the Middle Ages. Fromage d'Alpage is produced by cheesemakers who bring their cows high into the Alps for five months to this region of Gestadt, Switzerland. In the morning, they milk their cows for about seven minutes using an automatic milking machine. Each cow produces around 10 liters of milk, which contains water, protein, and fat. Twelve hours later, he removes the fat which rises to the surface. He adds a starter culture which helps preserve the milk. A wood fire then heats the milk for 20 minutes at a constant 30 degrees Celsius. He then adds an enzyme called rennet and more starter culture to the milk. After about 40 minutes, these active ingredients coagulate the milk into cheese curd. He cuts the solidifying curd into smaller pieces. To maintain an even heat, he keeps blending the curd and the liquid together. He continues mixing and cutting the curd until the active ingredients separate the curd from the liquid, called whey. To make cheese, he will use only the grains of curd. An electric mixer then completes the separation. He washes his arms and hands thoroughly because any impurities in the cheese would ruin it. After heating the mixture for 20 minutes again, the curd is now the perfect texture for making cheese. Using cheesecloth, they remove the grains of curd. What started out as 300 liters of milk will end up producing only 30 kilograms of cheese. The cheesemaker stuffs the sack of curd into a mold and works out some of the whey. He then puts three molds filled with curd into a wooden press. And using a wooden block that distributes the pressure evenly, he squeezes out more of the whey. To get all the excess liquid out of the curd, he turns each 10 kilogram piece of cheese over so he can press it again. Too much liquid in the cheese would affect its shape and quality, so he does this a few times, then leaves them in the press overnight. The next morning, he trims off the excess cheese created around the edge by the pressing mold. Like every step in this cheese making process, this work is also done by hand. He soaks the cheese in salt water for 24 hours to conserve, harden and intensify its taste. The cheese then goes through a salting and maturing process that lasts six months. During this time, they flip each piece of cheese often so it ages evenly. After a final surface cleaning, they put the 10 kilogram pieces on their sides to air dry. They'll remain edible for at least 10 years. But of course, you don't have to live in the Alps to enjoy the taste of Swiss cheese. <laughs>